All right. For today's work, uh, we're going to, I heard you guys tell me yesterday, you felt like you were doing a lot of work. So I tried to keep it simple today, uh, doing some multiple choice uh, lines of best fit for your scatter plots and taking some measurements of your height, your jump, and your foot. Uh, so I just wanted to do two examples of these multiple choice to kind of help you out here. Uh, so let's look at number three here. I'm going to do number three and number 10 as examples. So uh, you can see here there's a line of best. This is definitely a negative correlation. Uh, so if I was to make my line of best fit with a ruler, uh, some above, some below, maybe go like that roughly. I don't know. Ugh, maybe like that. So let's kind of see our multiple choices that make the most sense for this line of best fit that I just uh, created. Remember, we're using MX plus B, where B is your y-intercept and uh, M is your slope. So if you look, your B value, I would say, is up here at 7, right? So it kind of goes above the graph. So I would not choose, and look at the B values here, that's a starting point of 2, starting point of 2. So I would eliminate b i would also eliminate d so now we have two slopes a negative three slope and a negative one third so if i started from here and went down one over three one two three down one over three that would be my line of best fit that makes no sense so i don't think it's c either but here down three over one down three over one makes sense. So the answer here for number three, I would say is A. Uh, let's go over to uh, number 10 as well. Uh, another, uh, or maybe there's a better one to do. Be careful with like this stuff. So that's either an X equals or a Y equals equation when it's a vertical or horizontal. The hardest one I think is number eight because uh, it, it again goes off the graph when you get your Y intercept. Um, so do the best you can with those. Um, let's, let's, let's stick with what I said in the beginning. Let's do number 10. So, uh, line of best fit here, here. Okay. I'm kind of like guessing like this. Uh, okay. So, uh, let's see here. Positive or negative slope? Positive. So let's look at the slopes that are negative and get rid of those. And that's a negative one. That's a negative one. Remember, there's that assumed one there. So now we only have two choices left here and here. Okay. So does it look like my starting point is at negative one down here? Or does it look like it's just at like a slope of one uh, plus a y-intercept of zero? I think this is it. I think if I actually plotted this perfectly, it would start at zero, zero, go up one over one, up one over one, up one over one, up one over one. So I'm gonna go with the choice D. So number five is A, number 10 is D, and uh, good luck with the rest, filling in the form, and uh, taking some measurements so we can actually create some scatter plots and uh, do some predictions with that. Uh, I will see you tomorrow on the Google Hangout. I will let you know the time in the post.